How are you doing? I hope you are well um, this Sunday evening, afternoon, morning, depending on where you are. Um, I am so excited to have you on today's live. So as usual, you know how we roll here as you come onto the live. Um, please say hello. Um, let me know where you are watching me from. And um, kindly do give the video a like because um, it helps with the algorithms. Um, usually when the YouTube algorithms notice that a video is having a lot of engagement, um, it sends the video to a lot more people. And um, yeah, that's what we want here. So um, I will give it maybe 20 more seconds for you guys to say hello as you join the channel. And um, just let me know where you are watching me from. Um, you may also, you may want to get a notebook because we might be here for a while. It looks like I have been unable to keep the lives for um, less than 30 minutes. That has been my target, but <laughs> looks like I'm not able to. So um, we have a lot of people here. Thank you all. I can see you, Gilbert, Adil, Margaret, Lil um betty thank you so much i can see there is 17 of you, oh 33 of you guys online thank you so much for coming onto the live i am so excited you guys you have no idea so i'm going to just quickly start um with those who are with us guys as you come on please just say hello let me know where you are watching me from and um you're gonna need to <laughs> your notebook or something so today we are going to be looking at um so I asked some of you um, in my lives last week, I had asked you guys to share with me what kind of content you want to see more of on the channel. And uh, several of you guys asked me that I need to give more ideas on how you can apply for jobs and get them outside of Canada and also those programs that um, consider um, foreign um, applications so and like a, a little bit faster especially if you're looking for pr so today we are going to look at one of those programs and um, the program we are looking at today the best part is that if you apply for a job from outside canada you do not need to have a labor market impact assessment that is an lmia um, which essentially is a document that your potential employer would have to submit to the canadian government to confirm that indeed there is no uh, permanent resident or um, there is no Canadian citizen who currently can take up that job because either they do not have the qualifications or they are not interested. So that's the best part of the program you're looking at today. You do not need, uh, or rather your employer doesn't need to apply for an LMIA. And then uh, secondly, the other advantage is that in terms of uh, proof of funds, should you be successful and you are invited uh, or you get permanent residence through this program, the proof of funds is very little. It's actually just about 2000 Canadian dollars uh, for the first uh, applicant. If you're going by yourself, you need about 2000, maybe 2300 thereabout. If it's two people, you're going to need about 2300 um, Canadian dollars. But the best part is that you do not have to apply like for permanent residence from the start. You can actually um, get the job offer first from the employer and then um, you can move on a work permit if you're outside of Canada and then you start processing your permanent resident application. So before I move fast, so I decided to take a different approach <laughs> when I'm... Um, talking about jobs especially because we have had a lot of people despairing and um, rightfully so I don't blame you guys because um, with the delays in processing of visas and all that um, it's been a little um, difficult for people to even get visitors visas to Canada or even just getting work permits um, getting their um, for those who've already been nominated by provinces just getting like your employer get their number and all that has been a little difficult so when we have more stories of people who have successfully made it it gives us hope and um, it helps especially for um, um, the doubting Thomases so I'm just going to share with you some of the 
um, latest stories I have got a hold of, especially in the last couple, not more than six months ago. So allow me to take you to my computer so that we can just take a look. And um, I will start with this article. This is cbc.ca. And guys, I will leave a link in the description box for all this. Everything I'm going to share today, I will leave the... Um, I'm going to put the, 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 the links in the description box and in the comments. So you can see right here, I'm going to start with Kenya. Of course, you guys, by now you know I'm Kenyan. So this is Sudbury. This is uh, cbc.ca. We have this pilot program makes it easier for newcomers to Canada to become permanent residents. This is an article that was posted on the 19th of January 2023. You can see this beautiful family here. These are Kenyans, by the way. This is a Kenyan family. Hopefully, maybe one day we can get Felix to speak to us here on the channel. I'm already in touch with him. I hope, I hope, crossing fingers, guys, um, hoping he accepts <laughs> to talk with us here on the channel one of these fine days. So you can see Felix um, Koros moved to Son Samari from Kenya with his wife and five children in December 2020. That's like a month ago. Um, Felix Koros moved from Kenya to Son Samari. Ontario with his family in early December and thanks to an immigration pilot program, he says he's on track to become a permanent resident soon. We thank God that we are here in Canada, says um, Koros, who was an engineer in his home country and now works as an aircraft uh, mechanic for a company called JD Aero. We are seeing blah, blah, blah. So this, you see, when he applied for the job, he learned about the Rulon and Northern Immigration Pilot. That's what we're going to be talking about today, which fast tracks the process to gain permanent residency for newcomers who find work in 11 participating small cities across Canada. In Northeastern Ontario, Son Samari, Sudbury, Timmins, and North Bay all participate in the program. So you can see right here, um, this is the whole story of Felix. He's uh, working with the municipality um, and his employer to get him a letter of recommendation for permanent residency, which would allow him to build a life in Canada without worrying about our temporary work permit. So, guys, um, that's just one of the stories. Um, and you can see he applied for uh, work through this company, JD Aero. And um, I was checking out this company. They currently have so many opportunities. Um, if there's anyone, I, so I don't know if they are, I mean, the fact that they had somebody from outside the country looks like they could probably uh, still consider somebody if they are qualified. So that is, for example, um, one of the easiest way to um, find companies that are currently hiring is to start by looking at the success stories of those who have been hired before and that's why I felt for example that I should share with you guys uh, that story and then there's this other one here so this is soontoday.com so this is one of the local newspapers in Canada you can see here the rural and northern immigration pilot has attracted has helped attract 1,000 130 newcomers, including some to Son Samari. The program will now run at least um, until February 2024. So just down here, um, you can see right here, there is, um, where is that? Uh -huh. So there's this part here. This is by Sean Fraser himself. My personal previous position is that this program has been a success and with certain minor changes along the way, a potential expansion to other regions in Canada, it could potentially become a permanent source of newcomers to rural and northern communities. Uh, so you can see here's all that, that, and then there's one I'm looking for here. So there's this part here. Um, Mizo, who is a community consultant for the um, this RNIP program, said early childhood educators are one of the top occupations people apply for there are more and more trades applications coming in we are seeing transport drive truck drivers a lot as well and we do see quite a bit from food service too from employers here the bucket shop in timmins has been successful in hiring newcomers and you can see a jamie pool who's he's one of the i think he's like the director at bucket 
um, shop. Jamie Poole said they've brought in six qualified workers from outside of Canada so far. Eight more people will be arriving in the coming months. We are very fortunate that they were able to immerse themselves immediately into our work environment. And we work hard as a company to embrace them and understand their cultural differences to make sure they felt welcome. While the bucket shop used an independent company to source the workers, he said RNIP has given a high has given Timmins a high profile. Okay. Even with the sourcing from even with this with sourcing workers from outside of Canada, he said the bucket shop has a shortfall of about 20 welders right now. So, guys, um, if you are following closely, you may have noticed so far we've already covered um two employers in Canada who have sourced from outside and probably uh, would still be sourcing um, from outside of Canada. So you may want to look at them. So I've just opened the JD Aero website. Let me just see. Yeah? And guys, um, if you're not, uh, um, I'll just encourage you, if you are qualified in what these um, employers are recruiting for, then by all means, please submit your application. If you are not kindly, do not go and jump their mailboxes because it just makes it difficult for a lot of other people that might not be might be qualified so here is the website jd aero the one that hired chorus i don't know if they're hiring but um you can see right here um uh, where is that <clears throat> okay if you are interested in a job opportunity and possess the required qualifications please send a copy of the jd aero application form click the link below to download and fill out the form and send it to careers at jd aero blah 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 please quote the job title you are applying for in the email address so you can see right here the current positions they have um aircraft structure technicians and you can see it's both S or nine license. And then they also have AME structured apprenticeship. I have no idea what those stand for, but I think they are some like people who are qualified, probably know what they are talking about there. So uh, that is just one of the um, situations we are having there. And then um, for the bucket shop, I also checked them out, what they currently have. So you can see right here, now hiring, eager to learn. So this is their website. And guys, I, I'm going to leave all these links with you guys. So um, the bucket shop that's ea slash careers, now hiring. Remember, uh, we just read right here. Even with the sourcing workers um, from outside of Canada, he said the bucket shop has a shortfall of about 20 welders right now. When you check here, now hiring, are eager to learn and ready to prove yourself, production welder, reporting to the blah, 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 these are your key tasks, these are the requirements, yeah, salary, benefits, everything is right here. It's a full-time position. And it's located in Timmins. You can see all the whatever they require here. Yeah, and they've said that a, require, a recruiter will contact you with the status of your inquiry. So, guys, um, this is just two employers that are currently um working on the rural and northern immigration pilot program. So, generally, what you require for that program is it is an employer community driven rather program so what that means is that if their job is in any one of the 11 communities let me just show you what these 11 communities are mm. <clears throat> so these are the rural communities in canada rural and northern communities so this is the communities that are currently participating um we have north bay in ontario we have sudbury in Ontario, Timmins in Ontario, and I've just shared with you the two employers. Um, so there's in Timmins, we already have the bucket shop. And then we have Son Samahi, I've shared with you the JD Aero. We have Thunder Bay, Ontario. We have Brandon, Manitoba, Altona, Rhineland, Manitoba. And then we have Moose in Saskatchewan. 
Um, we have Claire Shalm in Alberta, and then we have Vernon in British Columbia, and West Kootenay also in British Columbia. So majority of the provinces that are participating in this program, the Rural and Northern Immigration um, Program, um, uh, majority are in Ontario. So North Bay, Sudbury, Timmins, Son Samari, Thunder Bay. And then we have two in Manitoba, Brandon, Altona, Rhineland. And then we have Saskatchewan, Moose Jaw. And then in Alberta, we have Claire Shaw, British Columbia. We have two, uh, we have Bannon and West Kootenay. So basically what you need to have to apply for this program once you have your job offer is to also make sure your education credential assessment, you have done it. And also you need to have your IELTS once you're ready to, to, to apply for permanent residence. So for your IELTS, the best part is that uh, most of them require very low scores, as little as C or B or five, you can still apply. And then something else I wanted to mention is that you can see right here, this is another one. So this is one of the provinces, West Kootenay. This is their website. It clearly says here, would you like to live and work in the West Kootenay's long term? If you are an immigrant, temporary resident, or overseas candidate looking to become a permanent resident, scroll down to learn more about our RNIP program and how to apply. So clearly, the fact that they say there's three main categories. If you're already in Canada, um, you're, already, you're a temporary resident, or you are an overseas candidate, which means you are applying from outside of Canada, then um, you can apply. So if you are looking for jobs, these are the participating communities in West Kootenay. So be specific that the employer is coming from Roseland, Nelson, Kasuga, Twelmore, Salmon, Akasp, Grand Forks, any one of those, yeah? And this is the process you need to find the employer i've shown you how to do it but then um something else you will notice so these are the main requirements if you are a student here west kootenay who can apply either you are a temporary resident that is you're a visitor a student or a worker and a current employee of a west kootenay employer one that i really want you people to notice is visitor and now I hope you understand why I kept talking about if you have your visitor's visa, then this is where it comes handy. Remember, the temporary policy still applies. So this is what you'll need to do. Or you could be an international student who has completed their studies in the West Kootenay region in the last 16 months. Or you are overseas and are the successful applicant for a job offer in the West Kootenays. Yeah? So that's just for one of the community. So if you get a job offer in any one of these um, communities, you can just tell your employer to come to this website in case they're not part of the participating, um, if they're not part of the participating um, companies, just ask them to come and apply and then they can um, sponsor your permanent residence. So you can be working on your work permit Meanwhile, as you process your, your uh, work, per, your permanent residence. Now, something else about the job um, application. So you can see right here. So this is the other community. This is North Bay. You can see right there, North Bay. And here is a question. Can any employer provide a job offer? Only eligible businesses in the community, as described in the community criteria, may participate. Okay, Business can become eligible before or after they provide an offer of employment to a foreign national. However, applicants will not receive a community recommendation unless the business has been found eligible. For example, if a business offers a job to a foreign national and is not yet approved by the community, then the business must become approved before they can employ you, okay? Can I apply for a job that is not posted on the North Bay Area Job Board? Yes, candidates may apply for jobs in the community that do not appear on the RNIP Job Board. However, all of the jobs, I want you to notice that, all of the jobs posted on the RNIP Job Board are eligible positions that have been pre-approved by the RNIP committee. If candidates apply and receive an offer for a position not pre-approved by the committee, candidates must instruct their potential employer to contact the community. 
So guys, basically what I'm saying there is that you need to come, for example, if you want to uh, move to North Bay, then you need to come to the North Bay area job board and then look at what positions that are currently available. And then from there, you can, uh, you can be able to submit uh, your job application. However, if you get a, a job offer from another business who's not in the job board, then you just have to come here and ask them to, to approach the community coordinator or whoever so that they can uh, be able to approve them. So just, and then one other thing you'll notice is that every one of the 11 communities have um, their priority occupation. So that's another thing. So in case you're wondering, so Eva, there are 11 provinces, sorry, 11 communities. How do I pick and choose which province to submit my application in or which employers to approach? So what you'll need to do, the first thing is, um, and I'll leave a link for all these. In fact, let me just post them here. Um, no, I'll post them later. It's going to take too long. So I'll post the community um, pages where you can go and check. So what you'll need to first check is um, all of them have like an applicant section. So what you need to do is find out what are the priority occupations in that province, sorry, in that community. By going through that, you don't waste your time. So for example, if the priority occupation is like social workers and whatever, so, and you're not one of those, there's no point even wasting time in that community. It just makes sense to move to the next community. So let's just take a look at an example here. This is North Bay. You can see how they are very much organized. What sectors will be hiring skilled foreign workers? So you can see the pilot will bring skilled foreign workers to fill jobs that have gone unfulfilled and filled locally. The high demand jobs in our area include, so this is like North Bay, mining, trade, manufacturing, aviation, healthcare, construction, technology, accounting, architecture, and legal professions. So these are the NOCs. So if let's say you're in any one of these NOCs, we have here registered nurses. So you can see it's grouped into different, there's healthcare and social work, there's trade, both licensed and unlicensed, there's business administration, IT, other professions, and then they're giving a maximum of 10 applicants in open NOCs that are not part of this. So you can see for North Bay, if you're in any one of these um, occupations, then you need to come to the North Bay site and find employers. Under trade, this is what we have. Where are those people who was asking me about heavy duty mechanics? You can see all that construction, carpenters, electricians, plumbers, transport truck drivers. I think you're the luckiest people in Canada. Like every province is looking for you guys. And these heavy equipment operators, we have automotive and heavy truck and equipment parts installers. Then under business administration, where are you my accountants? Auditors, investment professionals, we have administrative services and supervisors, we have accounting technicians and bookkeepers. North Bay is your place. IT people, always very lucky. You can see we have the IT people here. Yeah. And then we have other professionals, those architects. Um, we have um, aircraft instruments, legal admin assistants, and all this kind of people here. And then we can have this section here. Um, applicants with a job offer not listed above will be considered only at the description discretion of the community. High skill level occupations such as legal, supervisors in call centers, and chefs are examples of jobs being considered under the open NIS, or NOC. So guys, that's how you want to go about it. Just go and check under priority occupations for the provinces. It will guide you to know whether to even like spend your time in that um, communities tab or you want to go elsewhere. And then um, something else I want to talk about is on the individual um, communities websites, you're also going to find jobs that are already posted. So I'll give you an example here. This is for um, Sudbury. So we are here in Sudbury. This is a province of, I mean, the community of Sudbury. Once you get on here, they even have, you can see here, employers hiring through the RNIP, find a job. Click here to find a list of employers interested 
So basically, this is how it was. Click here to find a list of employers hiring, interested in hiring through the RNIP program. So when you click on the plus button, these are the employers. So if you click on the different ones, that's, it's going to open a different page. Um, Hampton Inn is here hiring. We have health science. I'm just going to take a random look at some of them so we can see what they are all about. So we can see right here. Yeah. Oh, you can see right here. And then we have this other one. Um, where is this block? I don't want that. Uh, dreaming of a job in hospitality. You can see right here. They have 4,296 4, positions. Like all these are positions. But I think you'll have to pick the country. Like here, go to Canada. You have to like pick Canada. Oh, only seven in Canada. And then you probably have to check. Yeah, that's what you want to do. Yeah, that's what you want to do. And then we have who here? First choice hair cutters. Um, so that's what you're going to have to do, yeah? Apply here, careers. Um, so that's what you're just going to do. If you come to this page, you can see here, careers, apply. That's what you're going to do. Yeah, sorry, I, I didn't realize I was showing my face instead of... <laughs> the pages so those are the ones that are in the rnip program okay now something else so you can see this is the other one bishops industries is here um first choice career blah 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 and then this other one is Sol Samahi. So this is another one of the so this is actually the one that hired that Felix Koros the Kenyan I was showing you um his success story so this is another one of the communities you can see why right here they say application process welcome to the rural northern immigration pilot application process for son samahi ontario please review the information below and follow the steps carefully any community related question can be directed to that so first you can see again about the jobs we are not accepting applications from the food sector as of july 1 2022 this tier will reopen end of each quarter to a maximum of five so those are the two jobs which they are not currently accepting food service supervisors and restaurant and food service managers but check the next line please note that all applications from the hotel industry if eligible will be considered so if you are in the hotel industry you want to look at son samahi the rnip pilot has been extended until february 2022 please see for in see more information here and then this is their um this is their um, requirements you can see here one of the requirements is that you are currently employed or have a job offer from an employer in son samahi if you are not currently employed or have a job offer, please apply to job postings that meet your past work experience and education. Please do not submit an application if you do not have a job offer from a local employer. So this is where you need to click this job postings. So when you click on that job postings, it brings you to this page here. Yeah, so you can see. Get the job you want here in Son Samahi. This tool allows you to search high-skilled job postings in Son Samahi area and is designed to get you connected to the right employer. So you can search by keyword. You can search by category down here, different categories. You can search by company. Okay. Now, same story. Priority. Um, um, so let me just say something before I show you that. So something else when you're applying under this program is as much as you meet the federal government eligibility criteria, you must also meet the community criteria. Every community has their own criteria depending on their individual needs and also the needs of the community. I'm trying to get where the lighting is better. I think it's better here or here. I think it's better here. Okay. 
So here is an example of a son samahi. Um, very important point. So you can see here son samahi. This is the community requirement. They say we will provide, we will prioritize candidates for recommendation using a point-based system. And this is what it says. Um, an applicant's score helps us determine the likelihood of an applicant and their companions being able to contribute to an urgent or emerging need in the local economy, build strong relationships with community members, enjoy the unique lifestyle and cultural offerings found in Son Samahi. We believe that applicants with high scores have a better chance of integrating into community life and staying in the Son Samahi or the long term. So this is what you need to look at. For example, at the moment, applicants will need to achieve a total score of 70 or above to be considered for recommendation based on the following requirements. So number one, you need to have a job offer for a job in one of the priority occupations. So these are the priorities. So in Son Samahi, these are the priority occupations. We have middle management in um, admin services, finance, engineering, health, natural health, low, art. So you just have to go through the same process, come and check. What are the priority occupations? You can see them here, art, culture, blah, 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 all these. Even mail and message distribution, guys, did you see that? So if you're a postman, you work in Kenya post office and you want to immigrate to Canada, this is your community. You can see student monitors, cross-guarding related occupations, helpers and laborers and other transport drivers, operators and laborers. We have harvesting, landscaping and natural resource laborers, laborers in processing, yeah? So if you are in any one of these um, communities, so you can see right here, applicants with a job offer not listed above will be considered only at the description of the committee. So if you have, if you want, if you're having experience in any one of these activities, then you need to look at Son Samahi. And then in terms of age, you can see the younger you are, more points. They will give you, if you're between the age of 18 to 36, you get more points. If you're above 48, you only get two points. In terms of work experience, so you can see, um, let's say if you are 48 years old, you'll get two points. But let's say you have, most probably you have more than six years of experience, so you'll get 10 points. So whatever you lose in age, you can gain in um years of work experience okay and then if an applicant has uh, one year of continuous work full-time work experience in son samahi within the past five years is an advantage post-secondary education and then now this is the part that is another interesting part if you're a resident of the community or if you have personal ties let's say you have siblings or family members then you want to consider that now but you can see here you may not, there's this part, if you are really a resident of the community, you get um, eight points, yeah? Or if, if you own property, is eight points. If you're leasing, the property is four points. But there's something I want you to notice here. Number seven, the applicant has visited Son Samahi for at least five nights within the past three years and met with at least two employers in their, what? Okay. Where is that part? Um, the applicant has visited Son Samahi for the last for at least five nights within the past three years and met with at least two employers in their line of work during their visit. <coughs> Excuse me. Eight points. So do you notice something here? Somebody who has lived in the community or has bought a house gets eight points. Someone who has bought a house. Someone who is renting a house gets four points. You who has come from wherever you've come from, let's say you came from here on a, you came from Ghana on a visitor's visa and you visited Son Samahi and you got in touch with at least two employers, you also get eight points. So guys, let me say something. So this is what, I hope you guys now understand something we keep talking about here on the channel why sometimes it helps for you to have your visitor's visa and make use of it. So once you have identified, you've gone through the different communities, the different 11 communities, you have checked out which communities 
have your occupation as a priority and then you find yourself in Canada, make a point of visiting these communities and spend at least five nights because it's going to give you eight points. So imagine if you get points for, um, you have a job offer in, uh, in any one of the priority occupations and then your age is appropriate. Um, you have, you would probably lose marks for not having lived in the province, but you get points for having visited even just for five nights and talked to at least two employers. So guys, I hope you understand some of these um, things I always tell you guys to do when you go for um, visitation. You know what I mean when I, when I drink water? <laughs> I want you guys to like the... Like the video. So, oh, thank you so much. I can see somebody has given me a super chat. Let me see who this is. Is it a super chat or a super? Oh, Chavez Power. Oh, thank you so much. You're so kind. And um, so guys, um, you guys, Chavez also gave me a super chat on my other channel, the Ivam Tali Finance channel. Like that was the first time. Like Chavez, you deserve the best in this world. I don't know if it's a he or a she, but on both my channels, this is the first time I am getting a super chat from anybody and um oh guys thank you so much Chavez. like guinness book of world records in both of my channels thank you so much i appreciate um guys if you want to support the channel if you want to motivate me at the bottom next to the what do we call it next to the comment section between the emoji and the plus button you will see a dollar sign that's the one you need to click and um you can support your girl motivate me help me pay my internet guys okay moving on thank you so much um, um i don't know if it's a he or a she Sham, chavez i appreciate you so much and everybody else who has given the video a like those who have joined said hello um thank you so much um sorry guys i still have my flu that's why i'm trying to <laughs> see how much i can talk before i come back to the comments because i want to cover as much as possible this is i think is very important so I was talking about when you visit Canada, make a point of um, staying um, in a hotel in any one of those locations because it's going to add you points and also make a point of um, uh, saying hello to one or two of the um, employers, you know, that you can find there. So I'm, gonna, I'm also going to show you something else, uh, why it's important that you keep your receipts or instead of just staying at somebody's house you go and book a hotel just in relation to the issue of getting points so just give me one second where is that mm. okay i hope i'll find it somewhere <coughs> excuse me um I find it anyway um I, ho I hope i'm gonna find it okay let's look at the next um community so the next community here is musjo so we have here musjo and this is their website um so if you are a job seeker you just have to click on under applicant so they, they are very very organized you can say for them as well they say um they're, they're, they're targeting either somebody who is currently a temporary resident employed and living in Mosjo, or you do not live or work in Mosjo, or you are a recent graduate from a two-year program at Saskatchewan Polytechnic in Mosjo. So basically, the process is the same, but there's something I want to show you about them. So right here, we have how to apply. Okay, so they say... Um, thank you for your interest in immigrating to Musjo, Saskatchewan through the RNIP. Please browse through the list of available positions below and at the bottom of each listing, you will find directions for how to apply. Okay, but something I want you to notice, job opportunities, qualifying jobs. 
Employment opportunities shared on this page are in occupations that qualify for the rural and northern immigration pilot in Musjo. All positions are with eligible employers. Employment opportunities will be added throughout the pilot. Please note, the list does not include all RNIP qualified positions, as some employers choose to advertise their positions solely on SASC jobs or other job search websites. If you receive a job offer from an employer not listed, ask if, if, they, are employed in R, if they are enrolled in RNIP. If so, they can refer you to the RNIP program coordinator. Uh, if so, they can refer you to the RNIP program coordinator to begin your, your application. If not, please see other employment opportunities below. So you can see right here, current opportunities. Here is a list of currently available job opportunities that qualify for the Musjo RNIP. Jobs may change frequently, so please visit the site regularly. So you can see here, food counter attendant, administration officer, retail grocery supervisor, um, cleaner, room attendant at Best Western, restaurant manager, front desk agent, kitchen helper or dishwasher, pizza cook, front desk agent, housekeeper, food services manager, food services supervisor, food services supervisor, cook, room attendant, food supervisors, food supervisors, cook, blah, 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 okay? And then right here, we have other employment opportunities. Looking for work in Musjo, check out sastjobs.ca to find new opportunities and apply to employers directly. If an employer is interested in using the RNIP, please refer them to the employer section of this website. So guys, you have seen there, you do not have to stick to, solely to the RNIP websites of the different communities. The only advantage you have by starting with the websites of the different communities is that you have an opportunity to be dealing with employers that are already pre pre what pre qualified. So it makes your work easier in the event that the employer decides to give you a job offer. I want to share with you another success story in West Kootenay. So this is the West Kootenay RNIP website. You can see it right here, Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot Program, West Kootenay. So they have another success story here. You can see RNIP hires keep Sutko, I don't know if Sutko Satko tracking on. You can read here. Marie's, okay, let's even just start from the beginning. Imagine giving nearly 300 people their first job interview in Canada. Meet Marie is the human resource manager at Sutco, a forestry transportation company that holds lumber, wood chips, and the like. He is passionate about helping the people he's hired at Sutco through the West Kootenay Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot. Marie has hired approximately three dozen immigrants from all over the world. Now that's something to write home about. Throughout my life, I've been lucky to help people come to Canada and help get them established. It's one of the greatest pleasures I've had in my career. It continues here with Sutko as part of the RNIP. It's a really cool thing. So for his 115 drivers at Sutko, there are over 18 nationalities. We are welcoming new cultures all the time, he says. Last year, we hired our first Russian driver our first Pakistani driver, our first driver from Trinidad, our first Ukrainian driver. This year, we have drivers coming from Madagascar, France, Africa. So Marie, South Africa is in Africa, <laughs> just for the record, Colombia and Brazil. We see this diversity as a huge strength. So guys, you've just seen it right there. That company has more than 100 um, and 15 drivers and they're all from like 18 nationalities so i checked out their website let me show you this is the website so the sutherland group enterprises it's the website of sutco and this is um see our current opportunities join our team so here it is working with the sutherland group 
Welcome to the Sutherland Group's Online Career Center. If you are searching for a rewarding, challenging career with a company that puts its members first, you have found it. So you can see the current opportunities. Uh -huh. You can see right here. Hey, truck drivers, truck drivers everywhere. Yeah, you can see right there. HR, IT, journeyman, long scale, like all those other drivers parts persons like they have a whole lot of a whole lot of positions so if you are qualified um i would encourage you to tailor your cv to canadian standards and use those tips i have always shared with you guys if you can take advantage of your visitor's visa if you have one it's gonna make your rnip program even um faster and then um, there's another one here, which is um, Timmins. Timmins is another province. Um, let's take a look at the, excuse me. <coughs> so the difference with Timmins, you can see here, they have um, a high affinity for um, um, French speakers. And you can see here, French language essential occupations. The Timmins Regional RNIP will give priority to occupations in any NOC category if the position requires applicants to speak French throughout their primary duties. Employers wishing to fill French essential or bilingual essential positions must meet all other requirements listed below in order to be eligible. So these are the priority occupations. In So if you speak French, then you want to come to Timmins because you're going to have a higher chance of getting nominated. So we have here, under health and social work, these are the priority occupations. But also, if you're speaking French or you're bilingual, you have a higher chance. And then under trades, this is what we have. Okay. All that, livestock laborers, blah, 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 harvesting laborers, mine laborers, machine operators, all that if you're in business administration you're also in luck auditors financial supervisors accountants insurance library people finance managers retail and wholesale managers managers in food services and accommodation if you're in it good luck as well there's several occupations there are engineers information system web designers technical occupations and then they also have a priority for open NOCs, that is maximum 2025 20, applications for 2023. So applicants with a job offer in an NOC not listed above will be considered provided they do not fall within an ineligible occupation. So the following jobs are excluded and ineligible. So we have all this. So if you can be considered if you have a job offer, as long as it's not one of these, yeah, that they have excluded, okay? So guys, uh, so if you speak French, then I would encourage you to look at Timmins. And specifically, if you are in any one of those NOCs that um, are listed there, then you have an advantage. Okay. Um, and then we have this other community. They call themselves North Okanagan and Shuswap. So here, priority NOC codes are exempt from the annual employer cap, all other NOC codes will be included in the yearly employer cap. So these are the priority occupations. So where are my nurses, lab techs, pathologist assistants, practical nurses, nurse aides, early childhood educators, electricians, plumbers, carpenters, cabinet makers, tile setters, roofers and shinglers, heating, refrigeration, and conditioning mechanics. So the process is the same. Just come there, check if your occupation is in one of the priority ones, and also just check that your employer is approved. If they are not approved, you can always tell them to check out the specific um, program in their community. And then we also have um, North Bay area is another one. North Bay also has their own website where they have 
different job opportunities. So right here, we can see the, this is the website for North um, Bay. Yeah. And you can see these are the positions currently available. Currently there are 18 store manager, service technicians, bookkeeper, automotive, resort manager, store manager, helper, painter, glazier helper, welder. And then they are looking for Ontario Northland Transport Commission is looking for electricians. They're looking for plumbers and pipe fitters. This production operation, countertop installer, um, fitter welder, personal support workers, nurses, and hairstylists. So the first choice haircutters is looking for hairstylists. So that is just another one. Um, uh, so I've talked about teamings. They also have several jobs that are open and um, you can check them out. Um, Where is the other one? I don't know if I talked, oh yeah, did I share the West Kootenai ones? So, um, let me just share the West Kootenai community criteria. So we have West Kootenai community criteria. So these are the priority NOC jobs, okay? And they say that um, if needed, new priority jobs that need to be filled in the region may be, so the steering committee meets quarterly and if needed, identifies new priority jobs that need to be filled in the region. These are referred to as West Kootenai priority NOCs. The priority NOC jobs may change over time depending on the needs of the community. Candidates with a job offer for a priority occupation or NOC are exempt from meeting the 26 points on our community criteria form. Below is a list of the current West Kootenai priority NOCs. Click the job title for more information on the NOC and additional eligibility. So we can see here accountants, we have accountants, accounting technicians and bookkeepers. Okay, so, and then they have all the requirements you have to check. And then we have industrial and electrical construction trades. We have computer system developers. There's no additional requirements for you guys. Nursing aid, here we have Registered nurses, licensed practical nurses, nurse aides, no additional eligibility criteria. We have social and community service workers, yeah. You must work for the employer in that job for six months full time and you must be earning 18 or more. We have early childhood educators and early childhood educator assistants. Um, there's your requirements there. We have chefs, cooks and bakers, tons of requirements. You'll have to go to the website and check. And then hotel, hotel front desk clerks here. Before applying to RNIP, these are the requirements. Yeah, construction managers, no requirements for you guys. We have mechanics, no requirements for you guys. Service mechanics, heavy duty equipment mechanics. Those guys were asking me, Eva, here are your opportunity. Come to West Kootenay. You can see here, transport truck drivers. You guys are so lucky, man. Yeah. So if you just come to the West Kootenai website, and again, as I've said, I will leave all these links uh, before we leave the live, I will leave them here. Um, and then something else here, where is that? Um, I think I found the one, I was, where is that one? Mm. Oh yes, this is what I found what I was looking for. Guys, when, when I was talking about when you visit any one of these communities, try if you can to stay in a hotel and keep your receipt. So you can see this one. This is the West Kootenai community criteria. So down here, you can see under number two, they also use points, living in and previous travel to the West Kootenay region. Candidates will be asked for proof that they reside in the region. The committee may ask for proof of residence and travel. So you can see here, tickets, 
hotel stays or other documents. So part two, if the candidate does not live in the region and they have previously spent seven nights or more in the West Kootenay region, you get eight points. Somebody who has resided in the West Kootenay for 15 to 24 months gets five points. 30 months get eight points, 36 months, 10 points. So you who has just visited the area and spent seven nights, you get eight points, which is the same as somebody who has lived in the region for 30 months, eight points. So guys, that just goes on to stress my point. If you have identified, like start by identifying which community you feel your um your skills your experiences are a priority in that in that um community and then if you find your way to canada make a point of visiting that area and you don't have to stay in an expensive hotel go and book an airbnb there go and book a hostel and try and talk to the different um talk to the different what are they called talk to the different um potential employers that are in that area yeah and then guys um we are almost finishing i want you to listen to this video so this video this is the rnip youtube channel for okanagan and i was really impressed by this video just listen so my name is alison crick i am the human resources director at silver star mountain resort having ward um available, you know, having a, a human being available that um, could answer the questions um, and he was very quick to answer questions with email and phone as well. It's really hard to find um, chefs, so it's really worked for us in, in enabling these employees that we brought in on a, a temporary work visa to be able to stay in the community and stay with us. If an employer is either having difficulty finding staff or has found an employee that is on a, a shorter visa and they want to keep them and keep them in the community, then it's a great program for that. As a chef, I have experience for like five years in Morocco for different so restaurants. So guys, um, that and, is... Uh, I, I apply to... So that is um, the YouTube channel for the RNIP North Okanagan. So you've just heard from the horses mouth, the Human Resources Director says they use the RNIP program when let's say they've hired you as a temporary worker and they feel you're really doing a good job and they may want to keep you for some time um there's also another website i found here not a website it's, it's one of the hotels in um in the northern area you can see right here it's ainsworth hot springs you can see right here work here year-round employment in a full service resort these are the employment opportunities they currently have Mm. yeah you can see hot springs pool attendant hotel front desk agent housekeeping dishwashing server host line cook and you can see what we offer is affordable on-site housing including utilities hot spring access staff meal discounts health benefits and then what qualities are we looking for um the one i want you to look at mostly where is that i hope is it the one oh yeah this one the qualities you are looking for down here come join our team we offer year-round career opportunities in one of the most beautiful parts of the kootenays you must be able to work flexible schedules preference will be given to candidates able to provide a 12-month commitment to their position unless applying for seasonal work at as a top interview okay so you've seen right there that particular hotel says that they are giving priority to, to candidates who want to give a 12-month commitment so let me tell you the advantage of having a 12-month commitment that's basically a full year the day you decide you want to now apply for your rural and northern immigration pilot for your PR through RNIP, it's going to work in your favor because one of the requirements is that you have one year. Where is that? Yeah. Yeah. So this is um, the Canadian government website, Canada.ca. 
the work experience, you need one year of work experience, which is full time, okay, in the past three years. So if you're fortunate to get an employer like the one I have just shared that hotel, um, whose priority is to keep you, like you can see, their priority is to keep you, like the, their priority is somebody who wants to provide a 12 month commitment, then you're just increasing your chances of um, being um, considered for a permanent uh, residence. So let me just, I hope. There's a place where I saw something about them. Let me just look. I hope I haven't deleted them. Um, there's something they were saying here. Where is that? Oh, West Courtney. Yeah, so the, this lady was... Um, is it how... Where she was saying there's a lot of um, there's a lot of work to do, but oh yeah, here it is. I have found it. Uh, come on. Uh -uh. Has it disappeared? Uh -huh. One minute, guys. I just want to show you something. It was one of the success stories that I read. Oh yes, so here it is. We are back, to, we are still on the West Kootenai uh, website success story, so you can see why here. Oh, come on. Even uh, uh, the light, okay. Even though the jobs, even though the jobs are here, we need the workers says Jane, Director of Human Resources at Innsworth Hot Springs Retreat. We've had to get creative as far as retaining staff out here because we are so remote, especially in hospitality. We are always looking for employees. So guys, that's Innsworth Hot Springs Resort. The same resort that you just read here. Where is it? Oh yeah, excuse me. So this is the same resort here. You can see Ainsworth Hot Spring is the same resort where the requirement is that preference will be given to candidates who are able to provide a 12-month commitment to their position unless applying for seasonal work at time of interview. And you can see the same Ainsworth here are saying even though the jobs are here, we need the workers, says Jane. Director of Human Resources at Innsworth Hot Spring Resort. We've had to get creative as far as retaining staff out here because we are so remote, especially in hospitality. We are always looking for employees. So guys, I would encourage you to keep reading more of those success stories because it's through the success stories you will know what has worked before, how have the other people um, immigrated, which companies have hired them, and um yeah you just never know and um i think i will end here let me quickly read your comments i am running out of breath um okay so guys if you have any questions please ask i think i'm gonna be here maybe for the next five minutes so hello to everyone thank you so much for joining um ibrahim i see you're welcome is Uche from Nigeria. Hello. Hi, Brian. Hi, Bang. Hi, Alusa. I see you, Godfrey. Lekam, hi, from Nigeria. Um, Okoth, what are you trying to download? Hi, Godfrey. How is Mombasa? Mahinda, good to see you too. Pardon, hi, from uh, Zimbabwe. Um, we have Justine from Johannesburg. Hello. I am fine. Thank you. My flu is still bothering me, but it's all good. Facts over fear. Hi, how are you? Um, you good? Uh, Aisha. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Wanjiro from Qatar. How is Qatar? Jacinta Reality from South Carolina. Uh, she's saying good job. Thank you so much, my dear. 
we have God is Able 2021 channel. Hi, how are you? Stanley Kiboko watching us from Tanzania. Looking for chef jobs. I have shared, like, I think every community is looking for chefs, as you may have seen. Hi, Denver. Yes, I'm going to share the links. Let me just finish saying hello, and then I'll post all the links here, and then I'll enter the live. I'm from Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, you're looking for housekeeping? Yes, I think I've already shared with you several opportunities you can check. Then we have Aisha. Uh, Aisha is asking me, where is Aisha? One second. Uh, where was I? Aisha, Aisha was a, oh Aisha West Kutney is in British Columbia. It's in BC. Um Tinori is saying liked. Oh yeah, you are saying you already liked and I was complaining. <laughs> Hi Bintu from the US. Um what comes to the mind? Can you can I defer my admission in command? And admission for what for school? Yes, you can. Mm. Onyekachi Allen from Nigeria. Hello. Been to. You sent me a message on Facebook. Please let me know which name you're using. I will check it tomorrow, maybe. Friday Nwigwe. Hello, how are you? Onyekachi, looking for construction jobs, architecture. I have just shared. I don't I don't remember what community that was, but I've shared with you. One of the communities here, I just don't remember which one it was, but there was a community here that was looking for architects as a priority. Please check that. Mm. Lawrence from Uganda, Ogambachi Sebo. Mangesh, very informative. I am glad. Thank you for letting me know. Um, Issa from Ghana, hello, how are you? Adenya wants to get to my inbox. My email address is ivamtali at gmail.com. I will post it here as well. Um, Abo is saying, hello, dear. Thanks. We do appreciate your good job. God bless you with more grace, knowledge, and insight. Please, can you link the job website at the description link below? Many thanks. Yes, I will. Mm, amazing creations. Hey, dear. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing creations. So first of all, I don't work at the embassy. The only person who issues um, work permits is border control. Sorry, um, the embassy, if you're outside of the country or the labor ministry, if, if you're in the country. But I have shared, I think, videos that I shared maybe two, three days ago, I talk about the work permit. I even showed you the priority occupations that are currently getting um, prioritize. I showed you which different programs. I have just shared with you one right now. Mm. Phone number, veteran love. <laughs> Michael, no, I'm not giving my phone number to somebody on the internet. Come on. Makori, our ambassadoress Eva, thanks for your effort. You're welcome. My son has applied for Seneca College but the application doesn't go through even after paying application fee. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. Have you tried to call them? Please try and contact them, send them an email. Sise, hi, I'm live in Dubai. Please, I need to visit and I have invitation letter. Oh, -ho. um, please submit your application. Let me see the wait times for Dubai. Uh, let me see the processing time. For Kenya, Don't if you're in Dubai, don't even bother trying to apply for your visa here in kenya it's taking 300 days let's see how long it takes to apply for a canada visit visa from dubai united arab emirates oh same story you can see visit visa from outside canada United Arab Emirates, you will have to wait 297 days. In Kenya, you're going to wait 303 days. So good luck with that. But those who watched my live yesterday, there's something very important I mentioned there. 
So, if I was you, I would still apply. And then cross my fingers and hope that memo that was leaked, they implement it. Mm. Hi, Raju from Nepal. What help do you need? Let me know. If I can, I will. Thomas, can I get your mail ID? My Gmail, check. If you check in the description box at the bottom of this video, if I'm tally at gmail.com, you will find it there. Hi, Johnny's World. How is Germany? Every time I see you, I see Germany. Like, I can't. <laughs> What's the weather like today? My friend was telling me in Canada currently it's minus 30 degrees centigrade in Toronto. Minus 30 degrees centigrade. In Nairobi, it was 32 degrees centigrade today. Mm. Do I need an invitation letter to get a visitor visa to Canada? No. It can't help, but if you don't have, that's fine. And there's a video here on the channel where I show you how to apply for your Canada visit visa, even if you don't have relatives or friends in Canada. Excuse me, please watch that video. Outdated. Hi. Hi, Alice Birech. Where are you from? Raju, mail ID, please. Ivan Tali at gmail.com. Contact number, Shawel. No. <laughs> I don't know how to join and mod your payment. Oh, Alice, you want to support me? You just click, if you click join, it's gonna, um, let me show you. Oh, that would be kind of, that's very kind of you. Um, let me see how you can join. Alice is asking me how to join my membership. So you guys, um, you can join my membership and support the channel. Um, when you join, you get a chance to support the channel. It will ask you if you want to um, make it recurring, but you can always cancel at any point. So this is my website, my YouTube channel. If you click on this part, join. Yeah, you see? It's going to ask you so you can pick any of the membership levels. Yeah. So let's say if you click on join, if you want to, to join at 1.49 per month, you click on that. If you want to 2.49, click down here, and then it is going to allow you. I'll pay electricity. You can do that. Um, I'll pay your Wi-Fi. You can do that. You know, when you click on it, then it will give you the amount. Um, some people want to bless me because I guided them and they got their visas approved. So you just click on that and then this is what it will show. And then there are people who just love me and they just want to support the channel. So when you click on Eva, where is that? When you click on Eva, I just love you, you can see. So that's what you do. Just click whatever you want. If it's my visa, I'll pay your Wi-Fi. And then you click join. It's going to ask you. So you'll notice like for me, I've already put my credit card here because I usually support different people. So if I just click here, it's going to ask me if I want to pay by credit card. Yeah. So you can see that's how it's going to start. And if you want to pay, then you just continue with your billing address. So you can see it will be um, renewed every month, but you can always cancel. So that's what you need to do. I hope Miss Birech Alice, I have um, clarified. So you just, whatever you want to support me with, just click on that and um, it will show you the amount you need to pay. Um, I hope Alice, I answered your question. Judy, looking for CNA job certificate done in six months. Oh. Yeah, you'll have to like check. I don't have any at the top of my head now unless I search. But just so you know, if you do your um, any study in Canada for less than uh, eight months, you will not get, you will not qualify for postgraduate work permit. So that one I hope you're prepared for. Um, we have Raja Sekar. Hi, how are you? We have Mangesh saying very informative uh, blog. I hope you meant live, but even the blog is very informative. So thank you very much. Much love back to you. And then we have Pascal Murphy. Thank you are welcome. 
Abo Fan Milayo is saying, please, Eva, can you share the link to the last hotel with us? I and my other daughters are interested in getting in touch with them when we enter Canada in March. I'm going to share all these links. Let me just finish saying hello. And then the next thing I'm going to do is to post all the links that we have discussed right here. Mm. Murphy visitors visa from South Africa. I assume you want to know how long it takes. Is that the question? The processing time. Um, processing time for South Africa. The South Africa was how many days, if I remember? Let me see. Mm. South Africa. South Africa. So South Africa processing time. Oh, well, ha ha ha! You're much better. <laughs> South Africa. <coughs> excuse me. One hundred and forty days. Murphy, it's gonna take you one hundred and forty days. That's um, how many? Twenty months. No, twenty weeks. Gosh, maths is so hard, man. Um. See, say my email, ivamtalia gmail.com. Alice Birage, how can one get an engineering job? I just, um, so it depends which engineering you're talking about. If you're talking about software engineering, I have shared a website, Van Hack Jobs. I will share it again right now when I'm sharing the other, um, when I'm sharing the other website links, but also, um, so guys, uh, so let me finish reading this and I'm going to show you another way that you can check jobs for, um, where is it? Um, organizations in Canada that are hiring from outside, especially for, um, um, job bank. So job bank is the Canadian government job listing platform. So I'm going to just show you that as well in a minute. Uh, oh, Alice, yes, the payment term, you must use a card. Did you want to, you can actually use, oh, no, but even, you can pay, I think you can send me PayPal. So if you click somewhere, you can donate. The only thing, I don't know if you're able to donate PayPal with uh, M-Pesa, I don't know, but I doubt. So up there. That's another way. If you don't wanna, if you wanna give me all the money, <laughs> you just click there, donate, and it's gonna show you the same but different options. Okay. Um. Frida Nguigwe is asking, how cold is the? How cold is the Western province? Huh? Northern province. <laughs> very very cold let's uh, just check i mean if toronto mainland current is um i told you it's minus minus 30 degrees centigrade this afternoon so let me is it centigrade or celsius celsius so let me just show you right now what it is like in west Kootenay. Um. Oh, today there was some sun, but at night it's going to go up to minus 13. But like in Toronto right now, as we are talking, it is minus 30. It was minus 30 yesterday. So it goes really far. <coughs> so you can see like right now, just look at that. West Kootenay is minus 16, 9 o'clock. And it's going to go all the way until minus 21 in the night. It gets, sometimes it goes up to minus 50. Very cold. Very, very cold. Like minus double digits. And we are just in January. By February, it's going to get worse. Mm. So that's one thing you have to be very prepared for. Um, about Canada, it's very, very cold. And then in the summer, it gets very hot as well. Um, JD is asking, I did a biometric last year 
and I have not received response till then. Can I try other program or should I wait for the outcome? So Judy, when did you do your biometrics? When? Because there has been a delay. No work permits for Canada. If you did it from Kenya, it was taking about a hundred days, I think, the last time we checked. So you can apply for other programs, but the only challenge you're gonna have is there's no program that is faster than work permit. <laughs> yeah? So let's even just, I don't know why you, let's assume you applied from Kenya, yeah? So from Kenya, um, let's say you want to apply for a visit visa, for example. You can see right now, visit visa from, out, from Kenya is 303 days. And then let's check um, work permit from Kenya. Um, work permit from Kenya is um nine weeks so i think you're much safer waiting for the work permit because it looks like it's the fastest one so far guys please give the video a like because <coughs> let's even check which other one so which other one do you want to apply for from this one i don't see unless you go to express entry or which one? I don't know which one you want to apply for here. I don't see which other one you can apply for. If you, I'm assuming you're applying from Kenya. I was going by your name. As you can see, the fastest one is work permit. Currently, it's taking nine weeks if you're applying from Kenya. So I think it's worth the wait. I don't know when you applied for yours. Um... Oh, Choshi saying, please don't forget to press like. Ah, that is so sweet, guys. Thank you so much. Birungi, can I get a cleaning job visa sponsorship? I've tried to apply, but to avail. Um, yes, you can. You've just seen the, the, the websites I have mentioned, which are already participating in the program. So you're much, you probably been just shooting in the air, but I think now you found a more organized way of doing it. And the advantage you have with the work permit, it's taking just nine weeks. If you're, I'm assuming you're, you're doing it from Kenya. And if you watched my last live where we're talking about work permits, I said one of the things you want to do is to mention to the employer, let them know that, hey, there's this program that you can hire me through. Let them know currently it's taking just about nine weeks to have my work permit processed. So I think this is um sufficient time for us to do the paperwork so don't worry about anything so yeah just let because some of them don't know yeah so just educate them and you've been seen from the community website they actually say if you get hired by an employer refer them to this website because not all of them know about these programs Oh, Sensi has helped me. Yes, 30, minus 30 Celsius. That was in Toronto yesterday. Judith is saying greetings to everybody. Thanks. Um, Zensi, in Africa, we don't know minus. Yes, we don't. Like in Nairobi, I think the coldest it got this year was, I think, 2 degrees centigrade. That's the coldest Nairobi got in July. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Sarah. It's just for IT sector. How could I find for chemistry jobs, please? I don't know what is a chemistry job, but I've just shared with you guys priority occupations for pharmacists. I don't know if it's the same thing. Um, Eva, how can I get an engineering QC? What is QC? Lando, I don't know what that is. Um, Abo, please, can you help to check how many days it will take to get visitor visa from Nigeria? From Nigeria, you guys was, I think, 500 days. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. <coughs> Let me check. From Nigeria. Hmm. Nigeria, I think it was 450 days. Oh, you're lucky, 366 days. That's how long it's taking, 366 days. I think it was Senegal that was. Let's see, Senegal. Senegal. There was a country which just, it was 400. I don't know what days. Let me see. Oh, yes. It was Senegal. 
Senegal, 475 days. Whoa. You'll have gotten white hair by the time they give you that visa. Um... I have sent many applications but no reply. I'm sorry, Ferron. We just have to keep trying. Or get your visa and go and talk to the employers. JD, in April, how is that possible? That is interesting. Maybe you can you try applying again? Or contact them, send them an email? Because that's like a whole year now. What position were you applying for? I don't know what happened because over nine weeks, that's like so way back. Did you have you applied through the new platform? You know, Canada changed their application to a new platform. Have you applied through the new platform? I don't know. That's strange. I think I'll try to apply again. I don't know if that's even possible. Um, land quality control engineer. I think, I mean, anything with engineering, you should be able to get a job in Canada. I've already shared with you guys the websites. And the priority communities. Um, Sarah, not quality control chemists. Yeah, I don't know. Just check the links that I've, I'm gonna share with you if you can find something. Um, Sarah is in the same role as Landwe. I wish you guys all the best. Austin is saying, do you think it's best to come? Of course, it's best. You even saw here one of the communities. They give you like eight extra points. Just for having come to Canada, stayed in that community and talked to at least two employers. It's easier. I mean, anywhere in the world, it's just easier when you're talking to a physical human being. And sometimes employers are scared that it's, gonna, it's just going to take forever to bring you into the country. So when they can actually see you, it... And, and like I told you, like, you even saw that lady on the hotel thing. She said there are so many jobs but they are not enough workers. Okay, guys. <coughs> now, let me start posting the links. Give me one minute. I just start posting these links. So, meanwhile, guys, if you haven't liked this video, please give it a like. If you don't like it, um, comment below what you're doing on a video that you don't like. <laughs> mm. oh yes no before i post i need to show you something on job bank yes yes somebody has reminded me let me show you what you do okay this is bonus i hadn't planned to, this was actually supposed to be a dedicated i probably do the dedicated video but now that we are here and you guys have stayed this long let me show you so what you're gonna do is come to job bank dot gc dot ca slash home okay this is the job bank website the canadian government website so you come here and you can see right now we have 123 290 job postings in canada now what you want to do is just scroll down just come down come down come down you can see here foreign candidates from outside canada click on that Okay, now you can see what is happening. Looking for work in Canada, search jobs from employers who are recruiting foreign candidates from outside Canada. Now, these are the options you have. If you have a job in mind, like those guys who are asking me for, I don't know, QC, whatever those are. If you have a location in mind, like a province specifically, remember the communities we are looking at. And then we have that section on advanced, okay? So you can see right here on this page you will find general information and useful resources to guide you through the options that are available to foreign candidates if you want to come to canada but have not yet applied for an immigration program or a work permit visit blah 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 if you have already started the process to immigrate to canada or to get a work permit you can search for jobs from employers who are recruiting foreign candidates so the first thing you want to do is confirm your eligibility, check if your qualifications are recognized, search and apply to jobs, okay? So find what programs you are eligible for. So we have express entry, we have about, those who ask you about work permits, okay? 
Okay, learn about work permits. Check if your qualifications are recognized. Okay, there's a foreign credential recognition tool. So you just put your occupation you're interested in and where you want to work in Canada. If you have obtained a degree in another country, you will need to get it assessed to verify if your education is recognized in Canada. And then the one we are most interested in, search and apply to jobs. When starting the process to immigrate to Canada or get a work permit, you should only apply to jobs from employers who are recruiting international candidates. On JobBank, these jobs are clearly identified. Such jobs open to international candidates, okay? Means, so when you see this round part in a job, and I'll show you in a minute, it means you can apply. When you see this red, it means you cannot apply. On job bank, these jobs are clearly identified. Such jobs open to international candidates, okay? When applying to job, you should send the employer a resume, including information like your name, where you live, your work experience, if you have a valid Canadian work permit, okay? So you can click here, search jobs open to international candidates. Okay, you can see right now we have 26,640 jobs open to international candidates. And you can see here is a filter. But there's something else I want to show you. So when you come here on the left, you can sort by province. And clearly you can see Alberta, British Columbia, Ontario have the highest number of vacancies. So even when you're looking to immigrate, that is something you want to consider. But it's also important to know what jobs these are. So maybe you can find, we have the Northwestern Territories are here, okay? So maybe the jobs you are looking for are here. So it's up to you. And then something else I want you to filter by, okay? You can, you wanna filter by permanent. Okay, if you're looking for a permanent job, if you're looking for a seasonal job, you want to do that. And then you can see the jobs keep reducing. And then I wanted to make sure that you filter by verified jobs. And then you can see the intended applicants is candidates and international candidates. Okay, guys. Now, when you come here, you can see it is giving you only permanent jobs. Canadians and international candidates and verified jobs. And these are the jobs. <coughs> okay, these are the jobs. All these are the jobs that are hiring international candidates. But because you don't want to go through 25,000 results, you go to advanced. So when you come to advanced, it allows you to filter by job title. Okay, you can filter by job title. You can filter by province. Oops, what did I? Oh, I pressed overtime by mistake. Language at work, if you're looking for only English jobs, if you're looking for only full time, looking by salary, you can filter by job category. Yeah, you can see, you can filter by education. There are those that require no education. 4,000 jobs require no education. And then we have, so let's say, for example, the ones that require no education. You can see the results have now reduced to 4,000. And then, <coughs> excuse me, let's pick full time. Let's pick English. And you can see the results have come to 4,000. Let's view this 4,000. So you can see right here, room attendant, food counter attendant, general construction laborer, construction helper, cook, kitchen helper, construction helper, cleaner, food services supervisor, delivery driver, food and beverage, ethnic cook, production helper, mechanic helper, dry cleaner, cook, cook, plumber, living nanny, Long haul truck driver, bottler, bottle sorter, construction laborer. Okay. So, guys, that's what you want to do.
I hope that was helpful. Now I think it's time for me to put. Mm. Okay, come. Tambitha Animal Science. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, I'm from Uganda. Can I get a visa sponsored and still job in Canada? I think I just answered your question. I want a PayPal. Oh, that is Alice. No problem, Alice. Just watch the advertisement. It still helps as well. And these comments, you're helping here with the engagement. Alex, please, madam, can I get a job from Canada Job Bank? I just showed you how to do it. Um, Tino Denver, there's a special place in heaven for you. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you. I hope they have with free Wi-Fi so that I can continue doing my lives in heaven. Abo, please, how many days is work permit approval from Nigeria? Okay, let me see. Work permit from Nigeria. Voila. Oh, oh, oh. Nigeria, 33 weeks work permit. 33 weeks. Come and apply in Kenya. I think you guys, Kenya is actually the only country in Africa where all Africans just walk in. They don't need visas. Even though you guys won't let Kenyans into your country without visas, visas except South Africa that recently started allowing Kenyans. So you guys, you can come and apply from Kenya, I think. I don't know if they will allow you. I'm not sure how it works. But you need 33 weeks. It's going to take 33 weeks. That's like a whole eight months. Um, Pius, we keep applying on these jobs, but we don't get any reply. Why can't you link us with sponsors who can provide us with Visa Direct? <laughs> I don't have sponsors, guys. You just have to keep trying. And so, guys, you know, I can't say everything here online, but I hope you guys get the hints. I keep hinting in all my lives. I keep hinting there and there, here and there, what you need to do. When I bring people here on the channel, they hint. You guys, you have to like read between the lines there. I can't say everything here on the channel, you know, but I'm always giving you guys hints. And that's why I encourage you when I post a video, don't run to the, to look for links. Please read between the lines because that's where that, that's where the video is. Because you don't expect me guys to say everything here. Um, and especially those who watched the last video I shared about the visa, the visitor visa. You guys, if you didn't watch that video, go and watch that visa and listen. Read between the lines, guys. Mm. And the issue of not getting jobs, I have addressed it like 50 times on the channel. There's like an entire video that just talks about the reality of getting jobs in Canada. Please watch that video. Mangesh, dear Eva, is it possible to get a job that early if I'm outside of Canada? I mean, if someone is in Canada, we'll get opportunity earlier than outside. It all depends, really. You know, some of these things, one thing I always say, <coughs> excuse me. For every job that you don't apply for, you lose 100% chance of getting it. And if, let's say, I'm applying for the position of a chef, maybe I'm a chef, I am so sure it takes me less than 10 minutes if I already have my CV and I have a cover letter that is so thorough and it's so well done, and let's say I'm targeting employers in West Kootenai. Even if I apply to 10 employers, it's going to take me like at most 10 minutes for each application. So guys, it's going to take you a lot of time up front when you're making your CV, making it really thorough and doing that first cover letter. Unless you're the type of person who's just applying for like 1 million random jobs. If you are doing targeted job search, it's not going to take you significantly more time to apply for 1 million jobs than it's going to take you to apply for two jobs. It takes almost the same amount of time because with every job you're applying for, it's the keywords you are looking for. We've talked about this on the channel. 
the keywords that are on that cover letter and the location and if you like it's a hotel you're gonna have like if it's a hotel it's like i'm applying for a, a chef position in a resort it doesn't matter where that is if it's still in canada it's not gonna take me that much time so guys i think um if you still want to emigrate to canada through the employment route you have to stop complaining about people not responding to you because to be honest it's not taking that much of your time but if you feel like it's taking too much of your time compared to possibility of getting that job then find another pathway and there's more than 100 of them that's all i can say because just the same way it's not easy to get a job in kenya in canada in pakistan in dubai in qatar it's the same way world over so you can imagine you're applying from outside your country it's significantly a lot more difficult so if you're getting frustrated and you think that you don't have the patience then maybe you need to look for another alternative and i don't think it's taking that if, if it's the same you're play, applying for the same kind of job category i don't think it's gonna take too much of your time unless you're just shooting randomly to whatever you find that it becomes difficult um um posting videos from <laughs> zensi yes i need a corner in heaven <laughs> with wi-fi um brother marley dear thanks for the show i'm from uganda can i get a visa sponsored and skilled job in canada yes you can thank you so much meta even south africa has the same duration as kenya for work permit oh wow that is nice Sarah Lena, we are 55 in the live, so Eva sponsors. <laughs> I sponsor you guys. How? <laughs> no spoon feeding. Yes, Zensi, no spoon feeding. Alexa, please, madam, can you show me a Canadian resume format? Yes, I can show you. I have an entire video on just that. Three videos, actually. Please watch. Mm, Fred Meat. Does a work permit a company a student visa? How soon can I work after getting a student visa? So you have a recommended attorney in a Toronto. So Fred, yes, when you get your student visa, you are allowed to work. Previously, it was 20 hours, but right now, let me see what it is. Student visa work. I think you're allowed to work Previously, you could only work um, up to 20 hours per week on campus, but now I think you can work. Let me see what it was changed. Uh, oh, yes. Actually, beginning 15th of November 2020, international students can temporarily work for more than 20 hours per week. Okay, so beginning December 31, 2023, um, sorry, from 15th November 2022 until December 31, 2023, international students can work more than 20 hours per week. So that is a temporary public policy um, because of the shortages, labor shortages in Canada currently being experienced, so you are allowed to work more than previously was maximum of 20 hours but now you can work more than 20 hours um from 15th november 2022 until december 31 2023 then there's a work permit so the fact that you have a student visa you're gonna get a work permit um how soon can i work after getting a student visa as soon as possible sorry um you're asking about do you have um <laughs> Someone is asking, do I have an attorney? Let me answer that. I will answer that in a bit. When you look at um, my about page right here, it answers your question. Description. I show you how to legally immigrate to Canada, US, UK, and Europe, even without an agent see you on the inside i hope i answered your question 
Fred, I hope I answered your question. Um, yes, Zensi, one hand working, the other one studying. <laughs> Killing two birds with one stone. Um, Olusen Awoyera, does an employer fast track your application process? For what? So what the employer does is that the employer gives you a valid job offer that you present, if you're outside Canada, that you present to the embassy. So when you go to the embassy, as you have seen, if you're applying for a visit visa, it's 303 days. That's like 40, 40 what days? Let me calculate. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, 303 days is how many divided by seven. So in Kenya, that comes to 43 weeks if you're looking for a visit visa. But if you have a work, if you are applying for a work permit, it's only nine weeks. So having a job offer helps you to get to Canada a lot faster than you would if you wanted to go on a visit visa. Secondly, when you go on a visit visa, you so currently there's a temporary public policy expiring in end of this month, February 2023, as of the shooting of this video. You can go and apply for a work permit once you are in Canada. You have to, but it's gonna be employer specific. But if you are applying for a work permit, they're going to give you a work permit and a temporary visa, same day, same time. So you enter Canada on a temporary visa and you can start working and earn money. That is the difference. Mm. Fred, meet. Which email? Please let me know <laughs> which is your email address so I can then look for it. My inbox is full to capacity. Yeah, yeah. How did you get the job? I've been applying no response yet. Oh, Olesun has an uncle over there. You guys, tell Olesun's uncle to hire you guys. <laughs> Looks like he's dishing jobs left, right, center. Alex, please, madam, did Canada Job Bank use application tracking system? It depends. You see, the job bank is just a resource. It's like a bank for jobs. So different jobs, you apply differently. So, for example, let us click on one of the jobs that we found here. I will show you. So, this is one of the jobs we found here that is accepting um, international candidates. Let's just, there's been somebody looking for a bottle sorter, someone to go and sort, set, sort bottles. Let's look at these jobs. And this is looking for a bottler. And they're willing to hire somebody. And there's this one, this long haul truck driver. Let us just look at this job so that you understand how job bank works. There's a living nanny here. And there is a plumber there. Okay, let's take a look at these jobs. So you can see, like, this is the first job here construction laborer posted. Actually, it was posted two days ago. It's a verified job. It's in Calgary, and they're looking for, they have three vacancies. The pay is $23 an hour. So if you go down here, it says who can apply for this. So this is a circle I was saying. If it's accepting international applicants, it has that zero. <coughs> and then it's accepting other candidates with or without a valid Canadian work permit. So when you click on how to apply, they show you what you need to do. So you can see here, you can apply by email to TNA concrete at show, or you can apply by mail. Now let's look at the other job. This one here is a bottle sorter. Okay. So this is going to be in British Columbia. They have two vacancies. The pay is 17 an hour. So basically what you do, transport raw materials, finished products, and equipment through plant manually or using powered equipment, blah, blah, blah. The employer accepts applications from citizens as well as other candidates with or without a valid Canadian work permit. <laughs> show how to apply. That's what you need to do for each job. You can see this is how you apply. Okay. And that's what you want to do for each of the jobs. Here's another one is a bottler has two vacancies. 
okay the pay is 18 an hour same thing accepting applications from residents canadians plus others and this is how you apply okay so it pretty much depends on the job there are some where you apply through the job bank but like here is another one long haul truck driver and um, you can see it's a verified job they have 10 vacancies guys look at this company they have 10 back and they posted on third i think long haul truck driver no degree required no such experience they're gonna train you yeah drive as part of a two-person or convey load and unload goods credentials you just need class one or a driver logbook i think the things you need license i think promotes equal opportunities for all applicants including those self-identifying as members of these groups indigenous people newcomers to canada youth who can apply to this job you can see other candidates with or without a valid canadian work permit how do you apply and this job is still valid until me this is how you apply leaving nanny who are those who are looking for nanny jobs there's somebody here aaron and alexandria lightman are looking for one person a nanny mm. you can see this is how you apply candidates with or without a valid work permit Aaron Lighting, and there are, you have to answer some questions. Are you available for the advertised start date? Are you currently legally able to work in Canada? So, so when answering a question like this one, you are told to answer this question. So just let them know that you can, once you get a work permit, you can work. Show them that uh, it's taking only nine weeks if you're doing it from Kenya do you are you proximity to this place previous experience let them know yeah flight is gonna take you less than 24 hours to come from kenya so you answer be bright when you're answering those questions then we have here this person is looking for a plumber and they have three vacancies for a plumber and you guys look at the pay of a plumber 31 dollars is even higher than for an accountant guys Next time you see your plumber, Musiache, Muache Madarao, look at the salary, it's $31. And you're working for 30 hours per week. And it's permanent, it's full time, and it's three vacancies, guys. Whoa. Did you see that? 31 per hour for a plumber. Look what you're doing. It's not like you're even cleaning poop. Look. Read blueprints, drawings, and specifications to determine layout of plumbing system, water supply network, and water and drainage systems. Install, repair, and maintain domestic, commercial, or industrial plumbing fixtures and systems. Locate and mark positions of pipe, pipe connectors, passage holes, cut openings in walls, join pipes using cup. Oh my God, guys, me, I'm going to get a plumbing certification. Because people are going to poop until Jesus comes. Like, guys, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Me, yeah, I'm going to be. Like, it's even better paying than what? Than so many positions. Me, yeah, I'm going to do plumbing, guys. Go and do plumbing. Yeah? And you can see they're hiring even people without a work permit. And they've said... This promote this employer promotes equal employment opportunities for all job applicants, including those self-identifying as members of these groups, indigenous people, newcomers to Canada, veterans, visible minorities, and youth. Other candidates can also apply. And how do you apply? Just click on that green button there. Yeah, work at Chamao Mechanic, guys. It's advertised until the fifth. Hey, if you're a plumber, please apply for those jobs. So, guys, I hope I've answered your question. Every job will have different requirements for how you need to apply. So, 
Um, so I hope Alex, I answered your question. Um, link career. So can international students work outside the school? Yes, you can work wherever you want to work until December 31, 2023. You can work more than 20 hours. Please, when you are Isaac Ousu, when you are outside Canada and after getting your LMIA, does it grant you 100% possible for getting your work? Huh? So Isaac, now the thing is, for example, if it's not all jobs that require LMIA, for example, the jobs we have just talked about, like the rural and northern immigration pilot program jobs, you do not Oh, sorry, I think I got disconnected somewhere. So it's not, you don't need an LMIA for all the jobs. Like for the RNIP, the Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot Program jobs we've just talked about, you do not need. You don't need an LMIA. Um, yeah, yeah, all this soon. Is it the one that gets you the job? Explore with Gina. Is it possible to get a job as a fruit picker without interview? I don't know. You're going to have to check in those. Like, I've shown you guys how to look for the job. So you can just type there, fruit picker, and see. Explore with Gina. My email address is Eva Mtali. If I let me just type it now. Uh, My email address is evamutali at gmail.com. evamutali at gmail.com. That is my email address for those who are asking for it. Um, um, Olesa will come to our aid and respond. Oh, <laughs> Ole Seyun, please come and tell your uncle to give. There are only 55 people here. Please give them jobs. Exceeding Grace. Tracy Angela. Hi, Tracy. Nice to meet you. Exceeding Grace. Please, it's my first time here. How does one get a job? Um, I just shared. I hope I've answered your question. I just showed you how to, like, the whole of this video was showing you how to get jobs. Could I get a job offer if I apply, example, general laborer, which don't need experience or degree, but I'm in real, I'm a chemist with experience. Yeah, if, if you meet whatever they want, yes. Um, Fred, when is my next live? <laughs> Honestly, guys, um, please allow me this month. I think, so the, the, the one thing I know most of you guys are usually online at around five o'clock. The main challenge I have, especially during the week, is too much noise from the kids around here. So, though 5 o'clock is a good time for me because even the Wi-Fi is a little bit more stable, the only challenge is, um, like now I've been talking for the last two hours, <clears throat> and I don't like to be chatting too much in the night. I get so tired. Um, so, it's I, I haven't yet set a schedule. But I'll probably be doing it like from four o'clock thereabout, I think, on different days. I'm yet to find a schedule. I'm still trying to see what works for me. But usually it's whatever time <laughs> I just feel like talking to you guys. So like last week, I was very unwell. Um, you can see from my mouth, I was really having a hard time with the flu. So I wasn't able to um get in touch with you guys so that's why i've been trying to catch up because i i give myself a target of the number of videos i need to do in a week so i'm still trying to hit my target for the week but yeah most probably i don't know i need to create a schedule let me know guys what is your preferred time for lives guys so that i can try and fit it into my schedule. let me know in the comment section below there's 60 of you um in fact let me let me set i don't know if it's gonna let me um let me do a poll. What is your most preferred time and date for end day of the week for lives? 
um, Sunday from 4 p.m. Um, uh, Saturday from Nairobi time from 7 p.m. Nairobi time. Guys, let me know what is your preferred uh, Monday 11 a.m. Let me know which is your preferred Tuesday. I don't know if the chat has come. Okay. Let me know what is your preferred time. Yeah, yeah. What the content of the job will be. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sorry. I've already talked about the issue of job. Please watch that video on the reality of applying for jobs from outside Canada. <whistles> Kathy namuli hi if my brother has tried applying but no reply he also applied for pr but his options were low at 63 so do you think he has a chance um my dear there are more than 100 um programs and if you watch please watch my video the one for uh, express entry um the one that was done on the 2nd of february i think or the 1st of february express entry draw the lowest candidate had 133 points before 173 points i think before they got nominated by a province so um oh sorry exceeding grace i don't know which website you <laughs> sorry i was talking so sorry guys sometimes when i'm talking i kind of lose my train of thought especially since my mom passed away i just have trouble with memory so that's why usually when i'm talking i don't look at the charts because the moment i look at the charts i get distracted and i can't remember where i was so i'm so sorry that's why i usually just talk 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 then i come to the comments because i have a problem with the memory so kindly bear with me exceeding grace i'm gonna i'm, I'm trying to so i'm trying to to go through the comments so i do the the links but Every time I, I want to go and do the links and there's more comments that need my answer. So uh, I think apply for PR one will pay. Yes, you will pay, but it depends on which PR. They're like actually more than 100 programs. Mm. Brother Male, please help me get an invitation letter to come in Canada. My dear, you don't need an invitation letter. Check my video on how to come to Canada. If you do not have relatives or friends, there's a video on that. Please check. I show you how to get a visa without knowing anybody. Dear Eva, is it true under critical worker pilot program, New Brunswick, the employer do all the expenses for employee from accommodation to living everything? I don't think so. Um, watching from Ghana, hi Josie. Oluseun, you don't have a job offer. <laughs> the way everybody has been here waiting. Yeah, yeah, all jobs that are here in Africa paying less are the high paid jobs in Canada or abroad. So, guys, huh? yes, the jobs that, because here, the, the challenge we have in Africa is that people have been so brainwashed, they think that you must sit in an office to be a somebody. So, all the technical jobs that do not even require university education, like you go to a technical school for like six months and you go and focus if it's plumbing it's a plumber if it's electrical it's electrical get out of school and go and do those ones nobody respects them builders construction workers but things that you go and waste four years in university studying random things those are the high paying jobs you go to canada us uk australia those manual jobs are the main high paying jobs and those are the jobs that will hardly ever be taken over by computers so that's why you had me saying, I'm going to be a plumber at this rate. It's going to pay me more and I'm always guaranteed a job because people will always poop until the day Jesus comes back. 
So I'm much better being a plumber than, I don't know, yeah? So I agree with you. It will be more easier if you have someone over there who can help you with the job. I don't think so. Just going by what we have discussed here today. Yeah, it, yes, it may help, but it doesn't mean if you don't have anybody there, you're doomed. No. I just shared with you guys testimonials and success stories here. Victor is asking, what is the process of getting Canadian work permit? Please, there's an entire video I did. I think it was two hours long i was just talking about work permit and work visas no it wasn't alive so just check there's a video on the channel sarah lena is saying thank you dear eva for those gold advices you are welcome link career right now i am in nairobi as i'm talking to you nairobi kenya uh steve oh this is the best time oh great okay please vote there i've put a poll um, Fred Mitt is saying Sundays from 5 p.m. Kenyan time works best. Okay, great. Please give me another. Sometimes I just feel like, so sometimes the reason why I do lives is because when I'm so lazy, I feel like I need to share something with you guys, but I'm too lazy to pre-record it. So I just want to come and talk here. So Sunday, I think is a good time. We can work with Sunday, but maybe give me another two slots. I think we can be doing two to three lives every week. It is good for me. To connect with you guys um z of the boon is asking how do you write your cover letter steve cuts saturday 7 p.m nairobi time shanice hi just coming on hi how are you welcome ebenezer from ghana welcome william madenge i am in nairobi right now but when i go to canada i stay in ontario most of the time um Ebenezer um Eva can you make a video on how to come to Canada and I also want to know if you need owls by all means if you want to immigrate through anytime you are applying for permanent residence it doesn't matter which program in Canada you must have at least two things number one you must show proof of your language skills either English, French, or both. And that's why you need the IELTS for English or you need the French exam. Like there's no way you will apply for permanent residence or citizenship in Canada if you can't prove that you can speak English, French, or both. The challenge with Canada and all these Western countries is that you either have it on paper or it didn't happen. So it doesn't matter how beautiful your English is. They want to see the paper that proves how good you are. So that's why you need to do the exam. The other thing you're going to need is you must have at least a high school diploma. Like you must have gone to high school. And the only way you can prove that is with a piece of paper. So let's say if you went to your high school or whatever you did post high school, maybe you did a diploma, or certificate, degree, whatever. If you did it in Canada, your highest level of qualification you did in Canada, that's fine. You don't need to show anything. But if you did it outside of Canada, then you must do what we call education credential assessment. That is ECA. And there are 50 organizations, uh, sorry, five organizations in, in um, the world that are approved, authorized to do your credential assessment. The most common one that I even personally use is WES, W-E-S. And I will leave all those in the links here. So you must have that ECA if you have not studied in Canada. There's no shortcut. The moment you start talking permanent residence or citizenship, no shortcut. Work permit, all these other things, visit visa, nobody cares when if you can't speak the language. They don't really care. Okay, they probably do, but they don't they won't ask for papers because maybe they will interview and they'll hear you speaking so yeah hey guys let me stop the comments there oh my god you people let me put the comment <laughs> the comments are not ending i am so tired guys
guys also help me to answer some of these questions the ones that we have answers for i know you guys have the answers for some of these questions being asked oh my god oh my god how long does it take i wouldn't know david um, some people are saying Sunday evening for guys. Please give me another day also during the week. I need two days. Martin, is it real? I don't know what is what you're asking. How do you write cover letter? We have a video on the channel, mm, but you can also check my what is it called? If I'm tally.com, just search cover letter. I'm sure you'll find something. Ken's is trying to apply for a job. You have a work permit you need to apply for a job we have so many jobs i just shared there steven cut we have three videos on the channel about cv mangesh is saying take care of yourself eva you are welcome um all loose sounds people are asking for your contacts People want you to introduce them to your uncle. <laughs> Hi, Amina from Kampala. Wants to know more about the new Brunswick Pilot Program for Unskilled Labor. That probably is another video. Can you lose your PR if you live outside Canada for extended period of time, like one year? I don't think so. Because generally, you have to stay for... Depends. If you're trying to apply for... Um, Wait, no, this, let me see what the law stays. Canada PR. Mm, I think. Because you need, I think it works. They do it like in batches of five years. You need, I think, 700 days cumulative. But usually when you get your um, PR, they usually write, so some of the permanent residence cards are valid for one year, but majority are valid for five years. And within those five years, you must stay in Canada for, I think it's 700 days or thereabout. But usually when you get your card, they're gonna show you the expiry period. Uh, but usually, and you can always apply for a new card. Um, though to maintain your status, they, they don't look at it like per year because let's say if they give you a five year card, they're going to look at it cumulatively in those five years. How long were you in Canada? And you have to be in Canada for I think 700 days cumulative or thereabout. I don't know the exact number, you need about 700 days cumulatively so that um you don't lose status but generally your permanent residence doesn't expire yeah generally unless like they give you like a one year to have a final date but like they give you a five-year one technically at the end of that five years if you stayed for 700 days plus you should be able to apply for citizenship that's how it works um ken wants to apply for a cook job there are so many um how about family that wants to travel with sponsorship they can apply for um visa can one get work permit while a tourist visa yes i have six points in ours can i apply for pr yes through this particular program the rural and northern immigration pilot program yes you can how long it takes to apply for a cook job it depends Mabol, Mobol, it's really difficult getting a job from outside Canada. Yes, it is. Please, who has gotten a job from outside Canada and how did you go about it? I just shared, you must have just joined the live. I just shared the stories here. I'm playing to a job in cooking. Ken, I'm a good cook. Anyway, so guys. I think I'm going to end there. Let me post the links, guys. So these are the links.
So I'm just sharing the links that we've talked about in the whole throughout the two plus hours I have been online. Guys, I hope you're sharing the video. I can't have talked for all this time in vain. Guys, um, if you have other questions, please ask them and let me know which topics you'd want me to cover. Please let me know in the comments. What would you want us to discuss in the next live? Let me know, guys. Um, what would you like us to discuss in the next live? Guys, there's 49 of you. You don't know what you want us to discuss, guys. Please let me know in the comments which topic you want us to cover in the next live.
so guys there's um there's this other one which i forgot to share with you this is another one of the communities um town of altona and municipality of rhineland so they also have um you can see white here Ouch. okay someone's alarm has decided to go off okay um, please review the job postings carefully and only submit applications for the jobs that are fit with your skills and experience. You are encouraged to clearly identify in your application how you meet all the mandatory requirements of the position. Okay. Our community is limiting candidates to a maximum of three active job applications at a time. So below is a list of current employment opportunities with businesses located in the town of Altona and municipality of Rhineland. If your work experience and or education is not a match with one of our current employment opportunities, we invite you to create a candidate profile where you can set up career alerts to be notified of future job opportunities matching your criteria. So you can see um, industrial painter, welder, um, cook, bindery machine operator, um, small equipment machine operator. This Friesen's Corporation has a lot of jobs. Four Winds Hotel and Almas Manufacturing, level two printing press operator, level two bindery, cook, material handler. Okay. We continue finishing with the links.
Hello. Ya. Ya. Ber. Mabel. Oh, I mean we are gochi. <laughs> give me give me five minutes. Five minutes I'm calling. Okay guys, um I think I have covered I have covered guys I've been here two and a half hours so I have shared all the links with you guys. Mm. Okay, so you guys have shared some topics here. I will go through them and um, try and do the lives um, yeah. or I will just do um, a separate video. So guys, thank you so much. I am tired. <laughs> I've been here for two and a half hours. Sorry if I wasn't able to answer your questions satisfactorily. Kindly bear with me. Um, for those who are sending me emails, um, if it's something that is very direct at the top of my head, I will try to answer it. If it is, hey Eva, we are a family of six, someone has a degree in this, a degree in that, a degree, please advise. Those ones, I ha may not respond, depends on how much time I have, but if it's like a, something direct that at the top of my head I can answer, I will. If it's those things that require a lot of my time, I have to do research, please bear with me. But um, for your own, it's always easier when you ask questions here, it's easy for me to answer them here because a lot of people benefit from them. I prioritize them. Um, feel free to go back to the comment section and um, you can always, you know, ask your questions. I will try to answer them. And then also, for those who will be watching this video after the live, if you want to um, see the comments, see the questions, then um, just click on, uh, <clears throat> I think it's called play chat or something. Let me see. I don't know what they call them. Let me see what the title will be when you're watching the live. If you want to see the, the, what do we call these things? If you want to see the, the comments and the links let me just give me one minute i see how it appear how it will appear um there'll be a, a button live chat yeah so just click on the live chat button you'll be able to see the link so guys bye it was a pleasure having you thank you so much um please share the videos and as usual i look forward to reading all your testimonials bye guys